Novak, very well done. You said after your last match that that was your best performance so far in the tournament. Was this one even better? Well, I have to say yes, obviously, the first two sets. Um, yeah, one of the best sets I played in a while. Um, and, you know, I really wanted to lose that game in the third set because uh, the, the, ten the tension was building up so much in the stadium. And I, just needed, uh, I just needed to get that one out of the way so I can refocus on... Uh, on what I need to do to close out the match. So, you know, I've uh, I played great, you know, from the first to the last point. Obviously, never easy to play. Adrian, who is a very unorthodox player, um, you know, uses the angles really well and he's got one of the flattest and most consistent backhands in the game. Uh, it's kind of cat and mouse, really, uh, tennis match against him. So I had to, I had to uh, in a way, physically endure the long rallies and try to run him around the court, which I did, and I think served. I served very well, you know, in the moments when I needed to, to come up with the first serve I did. So, all in all, great performance. You've been asked about how you've been feeling on the court, in the press room. You, you've admitted you're not feeling your best. You're dealing with something uh, illness-wise. How important was it for you to be efficient and win this match this quickly today? I mean, you always want to be efficient, right? You always want to finish the job as, as soon as possible in straight sets, but uh, not always not always possible because obviously uh, you're playing as the tournament progresses tougher opponents that, uh, you know, uh, have a, possess a really high quality tennis and, you know, uh, obviously best of five, you never know what's going to happen. But I wasn't thinking about it. You know, I was kind of going with the flow and the uh, last couple of days has been really good. So... It's, it's going in a positive direction, health-wise, tennis-wise, so I'm really, really pleased with uh, where I am at the moment. As you should be. Rolling into the quarterfinals again. Something a little offbeat. You know, you, you were playing in your charity match here last week, and, and someone asked you about your all-blue ensemble, very snappy. I've even noticed you've got the blue watch that matches the whole thing, but your coach thought it was too blue. Have you guys had a discussion? You also have the, the white shirt. How involved are you in this fashion statement you're making? Well, uh, I, think, I think the only um, piece of clothing that... Uh, my coach minded and also Sabalenka minded were my socks. So uh, they both told me that I have to change from blue to white socks. So that's, that's why I've been playing with white socks. And that's what the, you know, I got blue socks uh, in the bag just in case uh, for kind of a fashion statement. But uh, it's more about tennis right now. And then after the tournament, I'll, I'll focus on fashion. You're making a big statement with your racket, that's for sure. And your next match is going to be a tricky one. Uh, it could be the American Taylor Fritz. It could be the finalist that you defeated last year, Stefano Tsitsipas. They're playing right now. Fritz won the first set. I don't know if we've got an updated score line, but your thoughts on the challenge ahead for you as you move into the quarterfinals and beyond here? Well, uh, we know Stefanos uh, and I played the finals here last year. He had a great tournament. You know, he's been established, you know, top five, top ten player for, for many years now. Um, very experienced on playing on a big stage. Um, you know, he's got a complete game, obviously very focused, uh, great player, you know, no, no doubt. On the other hand, you have Fritz. Let's see, you know, they're battling it out right now. Hopefully they go to five sets over six hours and uh, <laughs> with, some, with some rain interruptions and uh, light dysfunction and uh, roof, uh, whatever, uh, so they can continue tomorrow. But uh, no, I mean, obviously it's going to be a tough one. I mean, there, there are no easy matches now, so um, I'm going to have to be ready for the battle, whoever it is across the net. And last question for you. You've played so many night matches here in, in recent times. This is the first time in a couple tournaments for you that you've played the day match. Any adjustments? Did it feel normal? There's a lot of people in the social media that, that think oh, Novak doesn't want to play in the day. Did you mind playing the day today? The way I play today, I don't mind playing in the day, you know, to be honest. <laughs> but, um, thank you. Thank you guys for showing up also, you know. I know it's maybe uh, early in the day, but it's Sunday, not working day, so I want to thank everyone for showing up. It's, it's great to see a packed Rod Laver Arena. It's beautiful to see that. Um, yeah. Um, it's no secret I love to play at 7 p.m., but, you know, uh, it wasn't bad at all today. Not too bad today as well. Not too bad. Well, you can watch Andre Rublev and Alex Dimonor at 7 p.m. tonight.
But that was Novak's time to win of the day.